So now in this lecture, let's write our application code, which is rtc underscore lc.c. First, let's write some simple code to test whatever we have implemented so far, that is get and set functions. And um, after that, we'll include LCD codes to test our real-time clock functionality. So first, in the main file, that is rtc underscore lcd.c, just include, let's say, stdio.h. And also, you should include the ds1307.h, what we just wrote. And after that, in the main function, first let's just do a printf. Let me call it as rtc test slash n. After that, let me just call the function ds1307 init. This init, actually it's a function with no arguments. Init. So if this init returns a non-zero value, that means something went wrong. The initialization has failed. So we will hang using while one loop. If it returns zero, then it's fine. The RTC is running. First, we will program the current time and date information into the RTC registers. For that, let's create two variables RTC time underscore t. Let me call it as RTC time and RTC date underscore t. The variable is RTC date. Or simply, I will call time and date. Or let me call it as current time and current date, something like that. Let me first program the date information. The first member element is day. Let me select day. Today is Friday. It is not giving. So the macro is actually. Okay, so Friday spelling is wrong here. Let me use Friday here and current underscore date. Date is uh, so today is 15th. Month is one. Year is 2021. You just have to mention 21. You cannot mention 2021. So you cannot mention the full year here. For the year information, the value must be less than 100. In the data sheet, if you see, the year should be within 00 to 99. That's why I just written 21. And after that, let's initialize current time. The member element of is equal to, let's say, 4. Time of minutes is equal to, let's say, 25. Seconds is equal to, let's say, 41. Time. Time format is equal to, let's say, it is time format PM. So let me use PM. And after that, let's call our function 1307 set current date. So current date ds1307 set current time. Let's read them back. I am going to use get current time. And so we have to now print it, isn't it? So now we have to print it. Let's do one thing. So let's get the date as well. Current time and current date. First, let's check the time format. If current time, time format, if it is not is equal to, let's say, time format 24 hours, then you have to print the time with AM and PM details. So, we will do one thing here. Let me just create a variable called AM or PM. 
here the car pointer am or pm is equal to let's use a conditional operator here if this time format you see here pm means 1 am means 0 if it is 1 then it's pm i can equate this string directly into this car pointer otherwise it is am i think it makes sense isn't it so let me use a printf to print the time let me use current time is equal to percentage s slash n so let me use one helper function called time to string I'm going to convert this time information into a string. Let me implement this function a little later. This is a helper function which returns time as string values. I will show you that uh, later how to implement that function. You just have to pass here this current time variables address. So it just takes this variable and converts the details inside this variable into a string which will then be printed by this printer and we also have to print the format isn't it so another percentage s here you should print am or pm information for example this print app actually prints the time information in this fashion like the current time is 04 colon 25 colon 41 pm like this time to string returns a time in this format and this percentage s prints this am or pm information else it's a 24 hour format so you just have to print this here there is no another percentage s because it's 24 hour format that's about printing time and printing date so date we are going to print in this fashion let's say current date is 15 forward slash 01 forward slash 21 like this and it's Friday something like this for that let's use printf current date is equal to percentage s space angle brackets and here another percentage s slash n comma here let me use another helper function called date to string so which takes address to current date variable and also we need another function here which returns day of week this percentage s is for printing date in this fashion and this percentage s is for printing day of the week we can write a helper function get day of week and you just have to pass so the day information to this function this function actually returns the current day in string format like friday sunday saturday like that but it takes a code for a day these are the codes for different days this function takes that code and returns a string so now we have to implement these three helper functions time to string date to string and get day of week first let's implement get day of week let me just implement that right here get day of week it return string so cast off get day of week it takes a number or a code let me call it as i if i is equal to one this function has to return sunday if i is equal to 2 it has to return monday like that that's why let's maintain the least 
of these strings. For that, we can use a character pointer array. Casta, I would call it as days. This is actually a string array, or you can call it as a character pointer array, which contains different strings like this. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If i is equal to 1, then it has to return Sunday. So you have to return days of i minus 1. Suppose if i is equal to 1, then 1 minus 1, that is days of 0. So days of 0 is nothing but Sunday, isn't it? It returns Sunday. If i is equal to 2, then 2 minus 1, that is days of 1, index 1. Index 1 is Monday, like that. Let me just cut this code and let me put at the top here. Now, let me just implement time to string. Again, it returns a string, that is nothing but char pointer, time to string. It takes address to this structure type. So this function has to return time information in string format. The exact format you should use something like this. HH colon MM colon SS. This format is going to consume nine characters, isn't it? That's why I'm going to take a buffer of nine characters, a char buffer. So this is buff of 0, buff of 1, buff of 2. In buff of 2, I am going to store this character colon. This is buff of 2. 3, 4, 5. This is buff of 5. And in buff of 5, I am going to store another colon character. And now, here we have to store hours information, minutes information, seconds information. What I am going to do now, is I'm going to use one more helper function number to string because this variable contains data in the form of number isn't it so we have to convert each number now into a string for example the hours information should be converted into string and it must be stored in buff 0 and buff 1 location the minute information, which is in the form of number inside the structure, has to be converted into string and should be stored in this location. That is buff of 3, buff of 4, like that. That's why we have to convert a number into string. First, let's do it for hours information. RTC time, hours. Let me send this address buff. What this function does is, it stores hours information into this buffer. That's it. So, we have to do the same thing for minutes and seconds. What changes here is, minutes should go into buffer of 3. That's why this is address of buffer of 3. And this is address of buff of 6 and buff of 8 must be a null character because it's a string right a string means it should be terminated with a null character and then just return the buff but you cannot return buff here because it becomes a dangling pointer that's why you should make this as a static that looks correct and now let's implement this helper function number to string so it's a void number to string basically it takes a number let me call it as uint 8 underscore t num and an address buff here's a logic which converts a number to a string if a number is less than 10 the buff of 0 should be 0 for example 
let's say if the OS information is 4 then it should be shown like 0 4 that's why if a number is less than 10 then the buffer of 0 should be 0 and buffer of 1 will be ASCII value of that number so to convert a number into its ASCII equivalent you have to add 48 suppose if number is greater than or equal to 10 you have to convert each digit into its ASCII equivalent let's say if number is 8 let's say if OS is equal to 8 then it should be shown as 08 right so that's why buff of 0 is equal to ASCII of 0 and buff of 1 is equal to ASCII of 8 so convert a number 8 into ASCII you have to add 48 like that suppose if uh, OS is equal to 12 then buff of 0 is equal to 1 plus 48 and buff of 1 is equal to 2 plus 48 the unit place and tenth place has been extracted like this another function cast a date to string it takes the argument rtc date underscore t a pointer to the structure type this function returns a string in this format day forward slash month for slash year let's take a buffer of nine characters including the null character and buff two and five let make it as forward slash characters and again you have to call this so in this case first date this must be rtc date date and after that is month after that is year after that just return after that store the null character and return buff that's it now let's compile so it compiles no problem complete up to here and also you make sure that this connection is ready between the RTC and the STM32 discovery board no need to do any connections to the LCD as of now so we'll test this using printfs and after that we'll forward those string information to LCD to get it printed so in the next lecture let's test this <laughs>